Wow. So do you guys know about all the other MIs? Because there are 19 of them, or at least there were. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's no. amazing. Okay, so uh, there was, for example, MI1 was Codes and Ciphers, and that's now GCHQ. So some of them still exist, but they're under different names. They've been yeah. subsumed, you know, places and stuff like that. Uh, my favorite ones are MI4, which was the geographical section. So maps, they just dealt with maps. <laughs> um, MI7, which was press and propaganda, which is quite interesting. And MI16, which is scientific intelligence. That was formed in 1945. During the Scottish independence debate, it was revealed that there's still money going into MI16. So right. it still exists. Wow. How cool is that? Yeah. But then it is just scientists. I reckon yeah. you go to a party and go, yeah, actually, I work for MI6 team. <laughs> <laughs> There's no MI13, though. It's no, not, no. It's not because it's bad luck. Well, I don't know. There are a couple that never existed. So for some reason, I mean, MI18 was only used in fiction, apparently. But then why, why would you not just use all the numbers? It's really odd that they missed out a couple. Yeah. Yeah. So the correct name for MI6 is the SIS, which is a secret intelligence service. Yes. Um, it was originally known as the Secret Service Bureau. Uh, and that was known as either the SS Bureau or sometimes just the SS. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. It's going in fashion now. Do you want to know something else that's really cool about Mansfield coming? Uh-huh. I think that he invented the method of spies driving up to someone and saying, get in. So, so before that, 